Welcome to part two. Here I'm playing the 5200 version of Popeye. What I like about this version of the game actually is that you have that really cool water tub. That little, like, what is that, a tub or is that a, uh, yeah, just a jug of water that you can actually punch on, that you can punch a uh, punching bag, causing that to land on Bluto. It disorients him for a few moments and then you can grab the spinach and then you can finally kick his frickin' ass! Get back here, you turd. Yeah! As you can tell, I'm gonna love the 5200 version. The graphics are certainly improved, the music is a lot better, and also it seems that Bluto must have cured himself of that awful toxic spill that he had. <laughs> And I thought Bluto was uglier before. Well, let's see, here we go, yeah, I get that. Grab that heart. Whoa, got lucky there. Yeah, that's a close one. Whoa, shit, ah, there's too many of them. I'll get you, you fat tub of dog crap. Come here, come here. There you fuck nut. Yeah! There we go. This is all for Olive. We must save Olive. Yeah, got him. Eluded you there. Okay, bad Popeye impression. I'll leave the Popeye impressions to Dave Cooley at Full House. This isn't so hard, actually. I guess the, I guess overall the better graphics just make this easier than the 2600 version. Here we go, here we go, two more of those boys. Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. Whoa, ready for more? You bet your ass we are. Yeah! As you see, there's a seesaw there. Instead of a trampoline... Yeah, instead of a trampoline, now there's a seesaw. And I'm guessing that's probably wimpy on the other side of it. With these kind of graphics, it's a little hard to tell. But I suppose that is him. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I can't go that way. Anyway, I probably should have mentioned at the start of this level that we have musical notes now instead of hearts to catch. Kind of makes me wonder why I don't remember Olive Oil being able to sing or carry a tune. But then again, it might have something to do with that dreadful 1980 musical Popeye starring Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall, which I guess I probably will have to talk about a little later. And there we go. Okay, here's level three, the pirate ship. This level is a lot of fun. It's challenging, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, you're impervious to these buzzards, and you can beat the shit out of Bluto. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bitch. Popeye the Sailor Man's gonna kick your ass. No wonder in the movie Popeye cursed like a sailor. Of course, I probably would too if I had to deal with buzzards and Bluto. I'd probably be cursing worse than a longshoreman with Tourette's Syndrome, I suppose. 
Yeah. Oh! You hear that sound? I've only got a finite amount of time left till I can... Got it! Got lucky there. Yeah. Ah, you bastard! Anyway, I gotta wrap this review up pretty quick here. I'm not gonna say too much more about the video game other than to say that this version of Popeye is definitely a lot better than the 2600 version. And it's actually still fun to play. If you can somehow get your hands on a copy of this game, I would definitely give this a checking out. Anyway, as I mentioned a little earlier, the musical notes in level 2 probably have to do something with this crappy 1980 movie of Popeye starring Robin Williams and a decomposing codfish, but I mean Shelley Duvall, as olive oil. Take my word, just take my word for it. Play the video game, don't watch the movie. Anyway, that's all from the Atari guy. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy President's Day, Lincoln's birthday, whatever you celebrate, I don't care. See you guys later, and have a nice, happy Valentine's Day. Bye.